During the 1980s, I entered a world that I found filled with fantasy and rife with abuse, the world of faith healing. I developed a special interest in a television evangelist named Peter Popoff. God told me, he said, you smite that cancer with your fist. At the time, Popoff was pulling in nearly $4 million a year, healing people on his miracle crusades. You've got cancer of the stomach? Are you ready for God to burn that cancer out? Here it goes in the mighty... Devil, back off. Back off, devil! Ooh. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You really believe you're healed? Yes. Do you think your cancers are gone now? Yes, I believe that because God never lies and we stand in His word. Praise the Lord. I tell you, from now on, you're going to have a soul of victory in your heart. Amen. To his followers, Popoff seemed to have divine powers. As, is it Gould, Alice Gould? He knew their names. Stand up, Alice as well as the afflictions they'd come to cure. God is touching that thyroid condition right now. God is touching your nerves right now. God is touching your eyes. Just lift up your hands, get ready, here it comes. He also knew the personal details of their lives. You're hear good news from Charles before everything is over. I'll tell you, he's gonna be completely delivered because of your prayers, because of your faith. Here it comes, complete healing in Jesus. Ooh, mighty name right now, right now, right now, amen. It's all right to praise the Lord. I suspected that Popoff's revelations were other than divine. The radio scanner we brought to the hall picked up a decidedly worldly source. Hello, Petey. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Popoff was being prompted by his wife through a wireless earpiece. John? Dearie Johnson. She'd gotten her information from prayer cards filled out by the faithful before the show began. She's about to get rid of the walker. You want to get rid of this walker, sister? Oh, glory. How long have you been walking on that walk? About three years. Three years. She lives at 1627 10th Street. 1627 10th Street? Is that right? That's right. She has arthritis all over. Ooh, burning this arthritis right out of your body. Take a few steps just to make the devil mad. Hallelujah. That's it. Just move around a little bit. There she goes. Just walk with me. Oh, glory to God. She's not going to need that walker anymore. God's just putting new strength, new health. Burning that arthritis out of her body. Just keep going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was able to arrange for another broadcast of the Miracle Crusade on The Tonight Show. But this time, the wireless prompting was included. In 1987, Peter Popoff declared bankruptcy. Greater is he! Greater is he! Colin the Prophet, who profits? 20 years ago, Peter Popoff was a televangelist who just declared bankruptcy after his preaching methods were exposed as a fraud. Now our Inside Edition investigation reveals he's back, and as Matt Mahar reports, his style of living is better than ever. Lord, let this anointing and power flow through our sister now. He claims he's a healer, that the power of God flows through him and can cure whatever ails you. Brand new! He's the televangelist Peter Popoff, appearing on infomercials seen across the country. He claims he can perform miracles. What happened to the pain? It's gone. And Popoff doesn't just heal your body. He says he can heal your wallet, too. I'll never be broke another day in my life. <laughs> Say it again. But this isn't the first time Popoff's been on television. Two decades ago, on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, 
Popoff was exposed as a fraud. And we picked up something interesting. The expose was carried out by this man, well-known skeptic James Randi. Popoff claimed God spoke directly to him, and he seemed to know everything about the people attending his crusades, including their health problems. Burning this arthritis right out of your body. But Randy took a scanner to some of Popoff's crusades and picked up radio transmissions. Turns out, the voice Popoff heard wasn't God's, but his wife's. I'm talking to you. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. You see, Popoff's wife, Elizabeth, had previously gotten personal information from people in the audience and then fed it to her husband electronically through a tiny earpiece. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. Jody Dean. Dean, Jody Dean. No, she should be right there on your right side. Okay, she was at 4267 Masterson. 4267 Masterson, I can see the angels of God all around your house. Yes. That's disturbing when you see it. After the scam was exposed, Popoff dropped out of sight and declared bankruptcy in 1987. I'm gonna throw this, Walker. But that was then, and this is now. Popoff is back, and business is better than ever. He operates out of this giant facility east of Los Angeles. According to tax returns, Popoff's ministry took in more than $23 million in 2005. He paid himself more than $600,000. He paid about $600,000 more to his wife and two kids. He drives this $100,000 Porsche, and he lives in this home worth $2.1 million. Where does all the money for this lavish lifestyle come from? Well, people who watch Popoff shows are encouraged to send away for his free Miracle Spring Water. And that's why I want you to have the Miracle Spring Water. But is it really free? Our Miracle Water came with what Popoff calls a bag of sacred Dead Sea salt. I'm supposed to sprinkle it over a check made out to pop off for $27. It's really just a tiny package of salt that you would get at a deli or fast food restaurant. As for the miracle water, I'm supposed to drink it, wait five days, and I'll be blessed with riches. Of course, I'm supposed to send pop off another check. You see, it's not the water that releases the power. It's your obedience to the instructions of the prophet of God. Kathy Rowe and her disabled husband, Donald, fell for Popoff's pitch. Surely God would see our pain and bless us. They borrowed thousands of dollars from relatives, saying they were going to pay their bills. But instead, they sent it to Popoff, $4,500 in all. I just look back on it and think, you know, I'm pretty stupid person. We wanted to ask Popoff a few questions. Reverend Popoff? Yes. Matt Mahar with Inside Edition. Could I ask you a few questions about no. your ministry? Hey, you're Would squeezing you, me. Sorry. How can you justify taking all of this money from people that are desperate? Can you just answer us one question? Can you just move away, please? Can, you want, would you talk to us later, please? No. James Randi says he's not surprised that Popoff is back. Flim flam is his profession. That's what he does best. He's very good at it, and naturally he's going to go back to it. Hallelujah! Kathy Rowe, the lady you met, says she only stopped sending Popoff money two months ago when she had no money left for food. She says she now feels that she was brainwashed by watching Popoff on television. I believe there's somebody out there, they have a child who's been diagnosed with ADD, hyperactivity, and, and learning disabilities. And I believe if you anoint your child with, these, with this miracle spring water, God's going to touch that child. Yeah. He's going to buckle down. He's going to study. He's going to get straight A's. Get better grades than he ever got before. Right. And you'll know it's because of God's supernatural right. touch. It's a girl, Liz. It's, it's, a girl? it's a girl, yes. Well, you just don't want to give her dr drugs because that doesn't do any good. You use have to use the miracle, miracle spring water. Miracle, miracle, miracle spring water. Miracle spring water. Miracle spring water. Hello, Petey. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble.
pointed her son's picture. And what, where, what was wrong with your son? He was on death row. And what happened after you anointed the picture? I anointed this picture, and they turned his uh, sentence from death to a life sentence with parole. Praise God. He was on death row. So he won't be executed. Reverend Popoff? Yes. Matt Mahar with Inside Edition. Could I ask you a few questions about your ministry? Hey, you're Would squeezing you, me. Sorry. How can you justify taking all of this money from people that are desperate? Can you just answer us one question? Can you just move away, please? Can, you want, would you talk to us later, please? No. 